lately we've had a little regime change in the WWE and every day is a new day for us. I mean, with um, Triple H is coming, he has so many different ideas that he's been bringing to the show and, um, you know, switching up Survivor Series to actually war games now. Um, so that is something exciting with the crowd. Um, I always tell people when you have an opportunity to see a mix of everyone, you know, typically you have Raw and then you have SmackDown, which are both great shows with a whole bunch of hugely popular talent. But when you get the chance to mix them all up and bring the best of the best into one pay-per-view, it's always something special. And that's what we're having with Survivor Series. So it sounds like there will be two rings at one time and all these superstars in the ring. In this case, it might be nice to have some backup. So I think of the bloodline. I think of the New Day having some people. And I'm thinking about for you, Bobby, some backup that you uh, you Talk might need for this. <laughs> Talk to me. Who do I need? <laughs> we need the Hurt Business back. What do you What do you hey. say? What do you think? Hey, I hear it all the time. Um, and it, it was, it was a cool, it was a very cool time in wrestling and, and we're fighting for it. We're fighting for it. Trust me. Hopefully sometime you'll see it back together. Like Austin Theory, um, being in the mix right now. I mean, I saw his like little change. Um, he's, he's trying to be a little more serious. Uh, like I said before, when he first came out, he was going against the best of the best. He was going after Brock. He was going after Roman. He was going after me. He was going after everyone. That kid has some cojones on him you know he was he was going after the best of the best and, I, and you have to respect him for that and now with this little change of attitude and everything like that i think he's going to go back to that same craziness um if he brings it towards me he will get checked but with that same aggression i wish he keeps it keeps that same aggression with, with his entire career because i see that kid being a super super superstar in the, in the near future i have my sights set on that united states championship i said i was going to bring a lot of prestige a lot of respect and a lot of credibility to that title which i was i was taking on anyway now that seth kind of cheated and people seem to forget that he cheated to get that title um i got to go and take it back from him so that's one thing that i am very interested in either this next coming up week or um survivor series or, or sometime in the near future where i where i can get my title back well i was at royal rumble this year in st louis i'm a st louis boy born and raised and uh you had an awesome match you and brock lesnar and obviously roman coming out you were the you know you got the championship is that also on your radar and also you and brock recently have had some some beef going on so what's up there yeah, man, it's, it appears that I have a lot on my on my table right now because I looked at the, um, what is it, the, the the wall of fame that, that Roman has on his board. He has a little bit of everybody. He has Edge, he has Cena, he has um, everybody on that on that wall. A hit that he's not going to get on that wall is mine. So I think if anybody needs to go out there and go and step up to Roman and take one of those titles, I think I'm one of the guys in the forefront. Um, so, but at the same time, um, the way that I beat up Brock a few weeks back at, at uh, Saudi, I think that Brock wants to have a little bit of revenge. He had his hand raised at the end of the match, but um, he was laying on his back when he had his hand raised. So he can't be too excited about that. So I know that he's there. And then with Seth stealing my title um, a few weeks back, I have something to deal with him. And then Austin, because I, 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 I ended his um, briefcase reign and he couldn't cash it in because... I kind of fold his plans, man. I got a lot of people after me, but I got a lot of people I'm after at the same time. So I have a lot of unsettled business to take care of in, in the WWE. So I have a long time left before I figure out <laughs> what my next move is, but I got all those people going after me. And, I'm, and, I, and, and like I said, at the end of the day, um, I wanted to win that, that world title. And another thing that has eluded me my entire wrestling career is the tag team title. So in order to get the Grand Slam, I need to get a tag team title. And then I got to end Roman's reign as double champion. He's had it too long. Before we go, um, I always ask people advice for wrestlers who are up and coming or people that are thinking about getting into the biz, whether it's being a superstar, being an, an, an announcer, behind the scenes reporter, whatever it may be. What is your advice to these folks of this is what you got to do to get to the WWE level? Don't try to be anybody else. Just be yourself. Got to be yourself. Develop a character that is wanted on the show. 
Um, if you think about over the history of, of the wrestling business, you can't really say anybody was like John Cena. You can't say anybody was really like Batista. You can't say anybody was really like The Rock. There's some similarities with different people, but there's nobody in those categories. Those guys developed a category and became the best at those categories. I see a lot of guys that are coming up in the wrestling business right now are trying to be a Cena, trying to be a Batista. You can't be any one of those guys unless you're trying to be a second tier person. CM Punk, there was nobody like CM Punk when he was going through it at the time. There was nobody, there's nobody like Seth Rollins, the ever changing evolution of the visionary Seth Rollins. There's nobody like Austin Theory. These are some of the greats in the business. There's nobody like Riddle. Be the best at you and make you very needed in the show. That's the, that's the best thing I can do. The Bobby Lashley, there's not a person on the roster that can beat me at being me. There's no one there. And I've developed a category that our show needs. And that's why I, I'm, I'm in the position that I am. So with the guys that are coming up, don't try to be anybody else. Bring value to yourself and be the best self you can be.